Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Spring Cup with my best teams around Galarian Wizzing. Galarian Wizzing can be used as a closer, as a leader or in general as a safe pick up in front or at the back because of its ability to get there on the move super fast while it also gets the possibility to knock down the enemy with that overheat. We're gonna talk about Galarian Wizzing on the entire video so for the first team showcase out of the total 4 we're gonna have Walrein up on the lead at the back, uh, the Galar Wizzing and the Cradili. Cradili is gonna be a Cradili for this cap, a safe pick for sure, definitely uh, a safe switch for this team and you're gonna see that those uh, power whips are gonna help you, are gonna help you a lot, excuse me, uh, grass nuts, not power whips, are gonna help you a lot against the water type Pokemon, the stone edge, against the flyers and the ice types, while you can get coverage against poison types as well with bulldoze, but I do not recommend it because Bulldoze is a bad move overall. Uh, so with that in mind, let's focus now a little bit up in front because Walrein is gonna do a lot of work against the enemy. You're gonna see that those Icicle Spears can come handy on pretty much any occasion, even for a bait scenario, while your Earthquake can be used for coverage against uh, the Poison types or a complete nook on that Lantern, which happens to be a Core Breaker as well. So you can see as to how this team can work. You have the Earthquake from uh, wall rain you got uh, the back-to-back -back brutal swings most probably or the grass notes from your Cradili to deal with that core breaker so definitely a core breaker that will be kind of a trouble but not that much since you have ways to play around it this team is extremely good I don't think it has any other cool weaknesses for the meta so you're gonna be fine most of the times hoping into the next one and Galarian Wizzing is gonna lead this team able to get there super fast on those brutal swings and of course the overheat for coverage uh, so we have already talked about this Pokemon extremely good especially upon the lead and of course we're gonna see it on every single team because we are talking about the Galarian Wizzing best teams video at the back we have a Trevenant and a Lantern both of which can work as a very nice score on any team on any position at all because uh, those two Pokemon are gonna cover each other weaknesses pretty nice so if you can win that lead scenario most probably you you have won that uh, entire battle for sure uh, so you can see as to how this team can work uh, the lantern can protect uh, the trevenant from the flyers while on the opposing side you're gonna see that trevenant is gonna do a lot of work against the ground type options something like a swambert or a quagsire that uh, your lantern is afraid of in general uh, trevenant can also work around uh, grass types as well but the core breaker of this team might be a boma snow because under seals it can still provide a lot of pressure on the Galarian Wizzing and you have to go for the overheat if you want to have any chance at all against Aboma Snow while at the back it can simply wall down uh, that poor lantern and of course it is all about a bait option if you can land that Shadow Ball or not with your Trevenant so that's why I have it here as a core breaker other than that I believe that this team has a lot of capabilities a lot of potential in the meta and that's why I recommend to you trainers now we have a familiar team from a previous video and that's because I have featured it over there. Well, this team is absolutely amazing. I don't think that it has any clear weakness other than the Lantern, which is not clear at all. You can see that only Mountain is struggling against that Pokemon, but according to PvP, Lantern can also beat uh, your Galarian Wheezing, but still under shields and under pressure with those back-to-back -back, uh, uh, Brutal Swings, which you can outspeed for sure those servers you're gonna be on a very good spot overall so I would not be that much worried about uh, the threat of the lantern uh, other than that I think you have no other weaknesses so let's see how this team can work here because you're having a lion whizzing up in front once again uh, as you saw before it's gonna be an extremely good leader uh, of course you have the brutal swings you got the overheats this Pokemon is super good and whenever you're using this Pokemon up on the lead you always going to have something like of, like of a safe backline in order to clear that debuff from your overheat as soon as possible especially getting to a pokemon like mantin might be kind of risky against lantern but anything else is absolutely playable so that's why i like it on the safe sweet spot 
of course you're gonna see that bubble beam is gonna be your main charge attack while as a second you can always use aerial ace but because it is in general a bad move i like using something like a nice beam uh, since it can provide me extra coverage against those ice types much like aerial ace and of course this is gonna help you against other threats something like a tropis for example or a jump bluff uh, this team is also gonna work really well at the closing part with Ferrothorn. Uh, I really like it a lot with Bullet Seed and Power Whips because uh, with 4 Bullet Seeds you can get there on that hard hitting move pretty easily while if you get for that extra mile you can either get your uh, Thunder or the Flash Cannon. It's all up to you, with Thunder you're gonna get coverage against the Mountains and Pelipers while Flash Cannon is gonna help you a lot against other grass types something like uh, a Trevenant, something like uh, an Aboma Snow, those Pokemon are gonna get destroyed by a Flash Cannon, so that's why you might want to consider using it on your Ferrothorn for the closing part. That's all about this team, and now let's move forward into the next one. And the final one, by the way, so we're having Venusaur upon the lead, at the back the Quilfish as our safe switch, and Galar and Wizzing as our closer. Pokemon like Whimsicott, as you're seeing here, do not underestimate those Pokemon and of course make do your research because uh, you want to see what movesets they might carry. As you're seeing here, well, a single Hurricane is absolutely getting uh, out of existence. My whole Venusaur, which is weird, but still it happened. So yeah, that was unexpected. Anyways, we're having at the back the Galarian Whizzing, which is just gonna work here as a closer. I like it a lot with the possibility of that hyper beam or the overheat but once again i recommend using overheat over anything else while brutal swing is just gonna be used for spam this team has to rotate properly do not be afraid to switch out i cannot do that because i went for uh, the nook on my side pretty early but uh, still you're gonna see that this team is no joke at all it can still pressure the enemy as a safe switch the main key element of this team is gonna be the quill fish and that's why this team is considered absolutely safe however However, it's kinda fragile, but on the other side, you are so safe that you can spam your moves, especially with the Quillfish, you have the Aqua Tails for back to back or the Sludge Wave for big damage on the enemy. As a core breaker, we have here the Wall Rain, which is just gonna do a lot of work with those Ice moves up on the lead against our Venusaur under Shields, but other than that, you're gonna see that with Shields down, Venusaur absolutely dominates this matchup for sure. At the back, both the Closer and the Safe Switch are gonna strike against those earthquakes but still it is not the end of the world if this uh, uh, overheat or the brutal swings can still do a lot of work against that uh, uh, wall rain or the sludge wave from your quill fish the normal quill fish not the hisuian because it is not gonna be avail available to be used for this cap you're gonna see that you can still do a lot of work even against a threat like wall rain so that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it because galar and wheezing is a top meta threat that you definitely need to check out thank you for watching trainers just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and if you want to support even more well joining as a member can always help with that matter thank you once again and i hope to see you all into the next one take care trainers